hello friends and welcome back to the channel this is going to be here again with another tutorial in today's video i'm going to be teaching us all how these beading patterns were created i have two beading patterns to share with us in this video so please make sure you watch this video to the end subscribe give the video a thumbs up share with someone that you think might enjoy watching something like this and feel free to drop your questions in the comment section right guys let's get started <music> all right guys so for the sake of using ready-made appliques to accessorize dresses or headpieces anything honestly even handbags shoes whatever you choose to use them for you need something similar to this so this is a ready-made applique for those that might be curious i bought this appliques from appliques trims tubo on instagram i've talked about her again on the channel she's one of the people i shop from out here in port harcourt anyway so i got this from her i've used this to accessorize something in the past i didn't film it so for the sake of this video because we are talking about how to use this type of thing to accessorize headpieces and dresses i'm going to show us what to do so first of all you want to trim out these appliques the video at the beginning of this entire tutorial that i shared in the intro i am not saying that this is the exact type of applique that was used in that video these patterns of applique come in different ways okay when you go through applique trims to both page on instagram you'll see all the different panels appliques stones trimmings everything that she has for sale so these designs come in different shapes and different patterns different colors okay so this is what i bought and i'm going to be showing you if i were to do this on a dress how i'm going to go about it so first of all you want to trim out these patterns okay we can see that the patterns come in something similar to like a letter c so they are like this like this like this like this all around so you want to first of all just maybe cut one of these all right and then decide that that's what you're working with if you want to be extra you can even this one that is like this you can piece it again and cut it into little 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 portions like this but i'm not about that life it's too stressful if i wanted to do that i would just have bought a trimming that creates like something similar to the shape that i want on my dress so because this is what i bought i'm going to make this work so you can either use what we call soldering iron okay for those that don't know what soldering iron looks like this is what a soldering iron is electricians welders and artists tell us now okay it has become something very useful in sewing and fashion design i have a video coming up that i want to share things that are things that make sense in my fashion business okay things that i cannot do without like no matter what's going on i have to have them so this is one of those things soldering iron with my fabrics actually okay fabric in particular for those that remember it of course you remember i shouldn't say those that remember for those that have watched a lot of my actually okay headband tutorials you know that this is something i cannot do without so this you can either use this or your scissors to cut out these patterns from off the main appliques that we are working with some people prefer to use scissors some people prefer to use soldering iron i fall in the second category i like to use soldering iron for this kind of thing so i'm just going to plug in my soldering iron allow it to heat up a bit then i'll use it to just cut out a few pieces of these appliques and then i'm going to share how you will typically go about it when trying to attach it to a dress all right friends so i'm back with this my raggedy carton all right and for those that are wondering why does she have this ugly carton i use this carton to protect my table surface from the heat from soldering iron all right so i have my soldering iron now it's been plugged in for like five minutes there about so it's hot so all i'm going to be doing is just taking it and trimming out the net around this piece of applique So we have something like this already i think because we never can tell i might get a client order and i'm going to need this appliques when i bought this applique i bought this one yard of this length for eight thousand five hundred naira i don't know how much tubo will be selling her applique now so it requires wisdom so i'm not going to just use a lot of it for this tutorial so this is what we have here all right something like this depending on what part of your fabric you want to attach it to that is your call 
I have this little piece of reinforced organza here with me. So imagine that this is a dress, all right? Please use the power of imagination for the purpose of this video. I hope I still have your attention. So I'm just going to cut a little portion like this away. I use this, I believe, I'm not sure if you guys must have seen the tutorial where I use this to create a 3D applique. That video is upcoming and I used it on a particular dress that I made for myself, very insightful. All right, so imagine that this is say, the shoulder point of your dress or the bust point of your dress. Some people will say, oh, just put fabric glue, glue it and move on with life, that works. But if you've watched my video talking about tacking stuff, tacking applique onto fabric and just gluing, you've seen my disposition, why I prefer which of the two options to the other. So if you've not seen that video, I suggest you watch it just so you know where I'm coming from with my opinions on here. So if I'm making this for a client, I would rather just, you know, take my time to tack it. And for the sake of tacking, you can either use a matching color of thread. If you are able to find this exact shade of gold, if you, are, if you can find a matching thread, you could use it or you use what we call invisible thread. For those that have seen my thread video, I'm sure they know what I'm talking about. I have a video also in the description, scroll to the bottom, you'll see that video there. So this is what my invisible thread looks like. All right, this is what it looks like. You can get this from Applique Trims Tubo, I believe, I'm not sure, Ask her, or you can get from Appliques by SAF on Instagram, also located in Port Harcourt, all right? I believe Appliques by SAF sells, she sells this for 600 Naira each. Again, most of these prices, don't quote me, is the owner of the business that can tell you the final price of her stuff. So reach out to them if you're interested in buying. All right, so this is what the invisible thread looks like. You could use this to tack this onto an outfit or you use what we call fishing line, okay? And this is what my fishing line looks like. It comes in this rose. I got this fishing line from Charity. Mr. Okoro, the man that I shared his shop in my market vlog, he sells this as well. This one, I bought it for 500 Naira from Charity when I bought it. And this was last year, okay? Most of these prices that I'm calling are things from last year because I buy stuff in bulk, as you guys know or might know. So I tend to use them for the items I buy for a long time. So yeah, I got this for 500 Naira at the time I bought it. And this is the 0 0.25 millimeters fishing line. They come in different sizes. I have a video just talking about fishing lines as well. Check out that video. All right, so for the sake of my own work, I'm using fishing line. I already went ahead to pass my fishing line through my needle. So you just want to be strategic in the sewing. So you can just pass your needle. I hope you guys can see. I really, really hope so. Let me dim my light a bit so you guys everything does not look too shiny so this is where my thread my needle i mean is coming from can we see so it's coming out of somewhere here so i'm just going to pull through like so and tack it on if this was on a dress form you you might have to put your hand inside the cloth all right just be very gentle in your process tack it all around even if you are going to glue, even if you want to glue this first of all before tacking, just apply a light coat of fabric glue. Then you now follow it up with this tacking that we are doing. So you are tacking in strategic points of the cloth to make sure that even if the glue starts to wear off after a while from wearing and all of that, the, the appliques will still sit perfectly on the dress. So you see how I'm going around and my sewing, I'm sewing around all these creases here. Can you see all these bottom points here? This is where I'm sewing around. I just sew around and because I'm using fishing line, you guys see that you cannot see the sewing. So imagine this on a dress using our fishing line or invisible thread. Everything will just blend seamlessly and will still look beautiful. So I'm going to keep quiet now. I like guys just watch the way I'm tacking this all around this piece of fabric. And then we'll move on to the final tutorial that I would like to share with you guys in this video. If you've been enjoying the video so far, please give me a big fat thumbs up, okay? I'm doing well and I'm sure you guys can attest to it. So please let me know that I'm doing well too by giving me a thumbs up. All right, guys, so this is what we have here, something like this. So you just determine how you want to cut your appliques and then place them strategically all around your dress or your 
hair accessory whatever it is that you're trying to make and come up with something beautiful so now that this is done we're going to move on to the final style that i'm going to be sharing with us in this video all right guys so for the next tutorial we are going to be working with this particular applique i bought this applique i think in 2020 or 2021 and i forgot about it right because it had been sitting in my fabric and accessories closet in my house for a some months i was looking for something the other day in my fabric um closet and then i saw it i'm like goodness gracious like I forgot about it totally i bought this i remember when i bought it i bought it in gold and in black i know you guys did not ask for this story but i like to just talk to you people because you guys are my friends and i like to discuss all these types of topic with you guys anyway so this is the black one that i bought that year and for the sake of this video or this portion of the video i'm going to be working with this gold one so i think i bought this from appliques by SAF back in that year. I'm not sure if she still has this in stock, but you can take a screenshot, ask her if she has it. It might juggle our memory. Anyway, so for this, this type of applique is slightly different because what we have at the back here is some kind of waterproof material. It looks like nylon, all right? I don't know if I'm supposed to peel it off. Maybe I'm supposed to peel it off actually, who knows? But that's besides the point. So what I'm going to do now is like we did the last one, I'm just going to trace out some of these, you know, spirally looking pattern. You can place this as is on a dress, just like so, maybe place, place it on the shoulder point of a dress or on the bust point. The placement really depends on you. But for me, because I just want to illustrate what the message I'm trying to pass across to you in this video, I'm just going to just cut out a little piece and I think I'm going to try using my thread snipper. Let's see how that works. All right. You see that this part has already come off. Then go ahead again. Cut this like so. It's separating these things. Patience is the key. All right. If you can be patient with it, you'll be able to separate it neatly. So we see that this part has already come off. How do I want to go about it now? Um, let me go this way. Let me try using my little scissors. Let's see how that does. Right. So that's it's already coming off. So separating appliques can be done. It just requires patience and perseverance. Fruits of the spirit. Like I like to tell us on here on the channel. And we're separating just in case some of the stones fall off. Don't worry. Nothing spoil. We can still make it work. So I have something like this now at the moment. I could go a step further and see if I could still separate this even more. And with separating appliques, just look for where you have just threads passing through. That's the section you want to explore and just try to cut around this and see how that does. Okay. That's the secret. All right. So now that we have something like this, let me grab a piece of fabric that we can work on. So I have my felt fabric here. So I'm just going to place this around here like so. Oh, I did too much management with this, my... Okay, I guess we're going to have to work with the little one. So we have this long piece here. Yeah, we could work with this. But because my fabric is too small, I'm going to work with the smaller piece. So let me just cut all this. We have something like this. I think I want to pull off all this our waterproof. I don't think this was supposed to go with it in the first place. All right. So you have something like this. Remember, this is just for tutorial purpose, illustration. I think for this particular one, let me just use glue. Let me not be a party pooper and be hating on team glue. Because I know some people, nothing can bring them out of team glue. So I'm using my E7000 glue. All right. Some people say they use hot glue on their dresses. Like I always say, I'm not the owner of the Ten Commandments of Fashion Design lets each person do what works for them and their enterprise, right? Whenever I share my opinions, like I always say they are my opinion, it doesn't make me right or wrong, and it doesn't make you either that is not with me on my opinion. Either. 
right or wrong either. You know, each person, we are all entitled to what we think and how we feel about different things. So I'm just going to apply a bit of glue like you guys see me doing and then place it on my dress. So imagine if this was a dress, I'll just place this carefully. Okay, I was not being very careful, but please, when doing your, do better than me. Don't, don't do yama yama like me. So just place this strategically at the points where you want to. I know, remember we've pieced our, we've pieced our applique, right? So just place it anyhow you want to place it. If it's that you want it to be spirally, curly, however you want it, place it around. And then just press and allow it. Remember, because we are using glue, you need it to dry down very well. I believe in one of my previous videos, you guys saw me using something. Let me just show us because I know that not everybody gets to watch every single tutorial, which I always recommend that people watch so that because there's a sequence to my videos, right? I share things and just continue like that. Anyway, this fan, very useful. So when you are done doing this, you can just let me get my wire and plug this in. This my fan is I've not been able to buy the battery for it so i tend to use it with electricity these days when i'm using it and i have this my little socket right beside me it works with um usb cord this fan i bought it off of aliexpress because i know somebody will ask where did i get my fan from but there's a shop in my one the shop is adjacent to charity's shop for those that have gone to my one before when you see charity's shop the woman sells flowers just adjacent she also sells this fan so this is what you just typically do allow breeze to blow it if you want to be extra like me or just leave it to sit. Just leave your work to sit and allow breeze. Some people even say use blow dryer. I saw one video on Instagram that the woman was using blow dryer to dry down her glue. Honestly, there's no limits to how creative you can get with this stuff. So now that that is done, I'm going to move to the next accessory that I'm going to be using for this particular work. And it's what we call, I think that the Chidera told me that they call it, is it crock stone or <laughs> Crock something, Sha? I don't remember. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, this is it. And I believe I have another one of these stones. I'm not sure where I dropped it. I have the one that is kind of clear. Let me look through my stash and then show us. So guys, I looked around my house, but I couldn't find my second color of these um, croc. I think they're called croc gems or croc stone. Honestly, I don't know, but you cannot sew these types of stone. You have to just glue them on. There's no choice. You see how it is? It's kind of flat bottom ball. It's a total vibe like when you add them to your outfit, it gives a different vibe. These ones that I have here, I haven't glued them down yet, but look at the vibe that they're adding to this piece of fabric already. And you remember from the video at the beginning, I'm going to put it on the side here as well. We have clusters like this at strategic points in the dress. So if you're looking to create something similar to that or create something similar to that type of embellishment, you need these crock stones and they come in different colors, okay? I believe I mentioned that, but even if I didn't, I'm saying it again, they come in different colors. This shade of gold that I have here is champagne gold, while this, my applique here is yellow gold. So when doing yours, make sure, if you're if you going for this type of combination, that's fine. But if you want something that matches, please buy the right, when buying, buy all of them together so that you are, you are comparing them side by side. That's something you should also take note of, okay? Most times when you go to the market, if you don't go with a sample of what you're working with, you might make a mistake because you'll be seeing so many things and you will think what you're buying is the right thing. Meanwhile, is is different. Even with blue, navy blue is different from turquoise blue, is different from sky blue. There are so many different shades of blue. So don't just go to the market and say, I want blue, I want blue trimming. They can give you any shade of blue. So cut a piece of the fabric that you're working with and then give them, oh, I want a blue that matches this dress. That's what most people do. So I'm just saying this for beginners, right? People that are new in this line of work, okay? So every time you're going to the market, cut just a tiny piece of the fabric you're working with and every time you want to buy, if you really want to buy net, oh, please give me a shade of net that works with this type of fabric, okay? It helps you take away mistakes in your work and just allows everything go seamlessly. So what I want to do now is for these crock stones, you can use, um, what's it called? You can use this type of glue right this is our e7000 glue or you can use hot glue honestly anyone that works for you but i think i'm going to use hot glue okay i'm doing a lot of things <laughs> outside of what i would typically do in this particular video so nobody should judge me nobody should come for me so i'm just going to plug in my hot glue and i'm using this our big daddy hot glue i'm just going to get my paper there's this particular paper that I use in protecting the surface of my table because these hot glues can be very spots and messy. They can be very annoying. 
any small thing like this they will mess up your surface so i have this piece of paper that i just place it close to and then the glue will be dripping on it if i not put paper on this all these marks that you're seeing on the paper they would have been on my fabric so that's another tip for us when my glue is hot enough i'm going to come back and then show us how i'll be gluing this down all right guys so i believe my glue is hot so what you're going to do is just get like a little dollop in place strategically all right so we have this already secured here with hot glue when it comes to drying it down, you don't have to do too much. It kind of does it for itself, right? This is what we have here. Look how it is. Absolutely stunning. Before applying your appliques, if you don't want to see all these like stray threads and fabric here, make sure that you do a better job at trimming. But this is what we have here and that is going to be the end of this tutorial i hope we all enjoyed these are the styles of embellishment that we worked on in this particular tutorial so if you have any questions relating to these embellishment designs please feel free to drop it in the comment section we worked on this dangling chain building pattern we worked on this particular one that we glued on that looks absolutely stunning and we also worked on how to glue i mean how to sew appliques pieces them and sew them onto dresses hair accessories shoes bags anything you decide to sew them onto if you enjoyed please give me a big fat thumbs up if you are not subscribed you are missing a lot clearly as you guys can see so please remember to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your post notification by tapping that bell button right beside the subscribe button share this video with a friend okay there's loving sharing and sharing is also caring okay share with someone that you think would find this video useful and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in another tutorial very very soon bye